I kind of like what Colin said here. Um, and I'm, it's going to be two parts. First, it's going to be a smart-ass comment. But then I'm going to get into the real. So my guy, Colin, says that, you know, something happened to our genes seven generations later when Noah's descendants' lifespan declined from 500 years old to around 120 due to eating meat. The smart-ass comment. I get a lot of people who are try, who, who can't deal with the information that I talk about and they want to take personal attacks and talk about my cigars. The fact that I own a cigar lounge, I'm going to smoke cigars. But to many of these people, I ask them the question, do you eat meat? Because when you eat meat on a serious note, when you eat meat, meat becomes toxic in your intestinal system. And then your lymph system, which people commonly refer to as their immune system, spends the majority of its time trying to fight the toxins that are in your stomach, in your intestinal system. Oftentimes, if you would clear out your intestines, if you are, you're having headaches or you're having issues, that would take care of it. But many people are under the false assumption that people who have diabetes is coming from them eating sugar. But no, it's really coming from them eating meat because all that meat, when your body can't absorb the protein and everything else, converts that into sugar and fat. I used to teach this when I was a personal trainer and I owned a gym. But eating meat will decrease your lifetime, lifespan. And smoking cigars is actually better for me because I am a I'm a 95% vegetarian. I do eat meat every now and then. But these this cigar is not like cigarettes, which you don't inhale, doesn't have all the chemicals, turns into carotene in your body. So it's not the same. People need to get educated before they have something to say. Now, to something else that he said, 120 years. Do you know that other cultures in ancient history have talked about how God or the gods spray something in the air to decrease man's lifetime lifespan and also to decrease man's mental ability to connect with earth energy and universe energy um in ifa this is taught in the hopi indians this is taught in the aztecs and mayans and incas this was taught that the gods did something either to the air or to the water to decrease man's lifespan and to decrease our ability to concentrate the ability to focus on outside on the spiritual realm now also you had in the during the holocaust time frame in germany they put fluoride in the water of the jewish people to calcify their third eye shut down the pineal gland so that you can't open your third eye so the dmt doesn't drop into your brain as much during your conscious hours as it does during your sub unconscious hours so i give some credibility to that because it's worldwide teaching so it makes you say hmm 